and I'm so glad I am back on my show today. And if you guys love sports, today is your day to watch the Anaya Khan Show. Okay, guys, before we get started, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you get a not so you get notified every time I post an interview. Okay, so let the viewers know your name and where you're from. Well, my name is George Johnson the Fourth, and I'm from Montgomery County, Maryland, in the DMV. Here. Okay, so behind you, it says G4 Sports Talk. Where did your name G4 come from? Well, G4 is my nickname that my family gave me because I'm George the Fourth. So G4 is just supposed to be short for George the Fourth. Okay, okay. I like that. I like how Thank you kind of like, I like how you came up with your nickname to go in with your like business and stuff. Okay, yeah. so what inspired you to be like a sports analyst? Well, as a kid, I liked watching YouTube, although I didn't watch it that much. And I also like, and I also saw the Super Bowl, and I saw the announcers announcing the game, and I thought that was really cool. So I wanted to do that, but it took me a couple years to actually do it on YouTube. But that Super Bowl inspired me to be the sports analyst that I am today. That's really cool. I like how you started as a kid, and when you grow up, you're gonna be. Bigger and better. Okay, so I see you visited Houston. How was your experience? Houston was amazing. The food was amazing. Uh, I remember I went to a bunch of sports stadiums. I went to NRG Stadium, home of the Texans, Toyota Center, or I th yeah, Toyota Center Arena, home of the Rockets, um, Minute Maid Park, home of the Astros, and then PNC Stadium, I think, home of the Houston Dynamo and the MLS. Yes. Yes, so anybody who's watching, y'all need to come visit Houston because it's literally yeah, the best. It's Okay, nice. so what were some things you got to experience here? In Houston, a lot of things I got to experience. I got to see the stadiums up close because a lot of those stadiums that I've seen, I've just seen them on the TV when I'm watching a game. So it was really fun to see them up close. I also got to see my, my family in Houston. That's always fun. And I got to eat a lot of a nice, uh, I got to eat a, a lot of nice restaurants. So overall, it's a great experience. Yes, Houston is really great. It's fun, got a lot of stuff, especially when you love sports. You got to come head down. Yeah. Listen. Okay, so who is your favorite football team here? My favorite football team, I actually have two I that I both support equally. They're my local teams, the Baltimore Ravens and the Washington Commanders. Okay, but y'all, make sure you guys comment down below, what's your favorite football team? Okay, so I've seen you on some George Knows football segments on Nickelodeon NFL Slime Time. How does that make you feel? I mean, honestly, it's a blessing. I mean, I wasn't even supposed to be in that show because Nickelodeon was looking for 12-year-olds, and at the time, I was only nine. So in the audition, they loved my enthusiasm for the game of football, so they just wrote me into the script. So like I said, it's just a blessing. Thank I'm Good job. I'm so glad for you because... I love how I see people like that's not in the age group, but really is better than like what they're supposed to be. Yeah. Okay, so what are you hoping to accomplish with your show G Four Sports Talk? Well, I'm just hoping to show a bunch of little kid, uh, a bunch of little and middle aged kids about what the game of football and the NFL is all about. I mean, that's what Slime Time is supposed to do: bring the world of football that is mostly played by adults to uh, to the world of kids, and that's the number one thing I want to accomplish. That's really good. Okay, so who is your favorite NBA? And since you know sports, tell me the Saints. Well, I also have two NBA uh, favorite NBA teams, but my number one one is the Golden State Warriors. Yes, I now, love Golden State. Some of the stats I know: Stephen Curry, obviously their top, uh, their top producer in terms of points. And this year, he's been really nice. He got twenty nine points. He got six assists per game, which isn't a career high, but it's still around his career high. And then a actual career high, 6.1 rebounds per game. In mm -hmm. most seasons where he stays pretty consistently healthy, he'll average about .400 or over in terms of three points, uh, three pointers. Although this year he got injured and was out for, uh, for like one or two months, he still averaged that .400 plus three point percentage. That's really cool. My mama don't even like to go and say Warriors, but you already know I'm ready for that team because you yeah. already have my boy Steph on there, and he really good. Yeah. So who do you pre who do you predict that will win the National Basketball League Finals? 
There are a lot of good teams in our Final Four. We have the Nuggets, the Lakers with LeBron, the Heat, and the Celtics. But overall, I think that the Miami Heat can take it all. I mean, they came into these playoffs as a play-in, uh, as a play-in team. They beat the Bucks. They beat the Knicks, and now they're going up against a pretty formidable Celtics. But I think their team depth is what has brought them this far, and I think that is going to take them to, I think, their first NBA championship in a long time since yeah. LeBron was on the team. Yeah, because my mom, she repping for Lakers or whatever. But mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, so what are some of your goals in the future? Like, where do you see yourself in about five, ten years? I see myself playing actual American football, maybe being in the NFL. I think that's one of my high goals of my life. But after that, I want to go do some broadcasting. I mean, that's where I started out. I want to finish there. Um, I think one of my goals that I still have kept to this day because I haven't actually done it yet, this is more of a bucket list, but I really want to go to the Super Bowl because the Super Bowl is obviously the – best football event of the year and I love football so I think it would be an amazing experience if I could go to the Super Bowl one day yes okay because have have playing so what sports do you want to play we're older just football or like what other sports well there are uh, football is like my number one but if that doesn't work out I know there are a bunch of other sports I'd like to try I know basketball is my number two I've started to start playing a lot more soccer, so I'm not sure if I would do soccer, but that is definitely a possibility. And then I haven't really thought about baseball. I haven't done any baseball recently, but I like to keep up with some baseball scores. I have MLB, uh, the show, in my basement. So I think those are other sports that I might be interested in if football doesn't work out. That's really cool because my I know my number one sport is definitely volleyball. My mom's trying to get me in basketball, but I don't really see myself doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining my show today. I'm really glad you could be here today. Thank you. I had so much fun. Thank you for letting me come on the show. You're welcome. So can you let the followers know where they can find you? Well, you guys can find me on a couple different things. On YouTube, you can find me on G4 Sports Talk, Twitter, and Instagram at G4 Sports Talk. Period. Make sure you guys go follow him and get him some followers because I really see I really see him going big and yeah. Thank you. Make sure you guys follow Anaya Cotton. Thank you. Okay, so make sure you guys dream big. Nothing is impossible. It's the Anaya Cotton Show. Bye, guys. Who you want to see? Anaya Cotton. Who you want to see?